In this lecture, we'll discuss about the traffic shaping algorithm which is used to improve the quality of service in a computer network in this previous in the previous lecture we'll discuss about some scheduling technique for the improvement in quality of service in a computer network in this lecture we'll discuss about the traffic shaping in traffic shaping here we discuss about the first most important algorithm that is leaky bucket algorithm and its implementations after that we'll discuss about token bucket algorithm and its implementation so first We'll discuss about the traffic shaping. Now, what is traffic shaping? Traffic shaping is nothing but it is uh, how much data, how much data or package to send. That is what that is called traffic. So, uh, traffic shaping basically a technique which is used to regulate the volume and the speed of traffic transmitted to the network is called traffic shaping. Traffic shaping basically a mechanism to control the data rate and the amount and the speed of traffic sent to the network. There are two techniques which uh, which is used to shape the traffic. First one is the leaky bucket algorithm and second one is the token bucket algorithm. Now first we'll discuss about the leaky bucket algorithm to control the network traffic. Basically, uh, basically we use here for traffic shaping algorithm uh, to optimize the performance of a network. So to optimize the performance, we just want to reduce the congestions in a network, optimize the performance and the data rate of a network. So here, leaky bucket algorithm, basically a technique which convert bursty traffic into a big data rate traffic by averaging the data day so this is the most uh, important point here leaky bucket algorithm basically cons convert bursty traffic bursty tra traffic it means a continuous flow of packet or a data uh, this algorithm basically convert these continuous flow or a bursty flow into a fixed rate or a constant rate by averaging the data rate of that algorithm so how should be done this kind of technique so to understand this concept first will understand the uh, concept of leaky bucket here. To understand the leaky bucket here, uh, let us uh, draw a diagram. Suppose there is a uh, there is a tab which is open here. In this tab, what happened? The continuous flow of water come. To accommodate this continuous flow of water here, we use a bucket. In this bucket, there is a bottom of this bucket is a one hole. That's why this bucket is called leaky bucket, right? Because there is a one hole at the top, of top uh, at the bottom of this bucket. So that's why this is called leaky bucket. So what happened in this uh, uh, algorithm? In leaky bucket algorithm, if the, if the if this tap is open, so what happened? The bursty flow of water should come here. The bursty flow of water come here to accommodate this bursty flow of water we just use here a bucket that is a leaky bucket in this bucket what happened with the help of this hole one by one or we can say drop by drop the water should come here this is what this is the constant flow of water constant flow of water right Maybe uh, at a moment, this bucket will fill the water. So after that time, what happens? Some water should come out this bucket, right? So here you can see the bursty flow of water with the help of this leaky bucket convert into a constant flow of water. Here we use this leaky bucket concept into a computer network. How? If we assume this tab, to a host computer, like if this tab is nothing but it is a host computer which want to send a bursty flow of packet, right? It, uh, this host computer send bursty flow of packet, right? This bursty flow of packet we accommodate in a bucket in, in terms of computer bucket, uh, computer network here we used a queue that is what? First in, first out queue, which is stored this bursty flow of packet inside it. Because it is a FIFO queue, this is first in, first out queue. So one by one, processor will pay 
each packet in a constant ray to this q and then process it after the process it will departure it so here you can see the flow of control of the packet should be maintained so this is what this is the concept of leaky bucket algorithm i hope you understand the concept of leaky bucket now we'll discuss the algorithm step by step procedure of leaky bucket after that we'll discuss the implementation of this algorithm with the help of flow chart right Here you can see the first when the first step of leaky bucket algorithm is when host computer want to send a packet, this packet is thrown into the bucket. Uh, bucket here is nothing but it is a buffer area. This is a queue. The bucket leak at a constant rate, meaning the network interface transmit packet at a constant rate. Bursty now you can see bursty traffic is converted into a uniform packet traffic by a leaky bucket algorithm. Now we'll discuss the leaky bucket implementations, right? With the help of flowchart. How should we implement the concept of leaky bucket to, con uh, to control the congestion or we can say to optimize the network performance here, right? Here you can see, here you can see when the, uh, when the bursty flow of packet sent by the here you can see when the bursty flow of packet uh, sent by the host computer. So this packet will come into the network, right? Network first will check if there is a, a space in a queue. If the queue is full, so, so simply network will discard this packet. So in this way, we can control the congestion in a network, right? Here, what we have to do, network will discard this packet if this queue is filled. If the queue is not filled, right? If the queue is not filled, so one by one, this bursty flow of segment add into the top of the queue, right? This queue is nothing but it is a leaky bucket. In this, uh, in here, what happened here, the processor pick one by one a packet from this queue and then process this packet after that will departure it. So this is what here you can see the bursty flow of packet will convert with the help of this queue into a constant ray. So this is nothing but this is the concept of leaky bucket. To understand this concept with the help of example, suppose Suppose, suppose there is, suppose in a network for 2 seconds, 0 to 2 seconds, a bursty flow of packet come with a data rate 10 megabit per second rate. Tick. After some time for a 3 second, 7 to 10, 3 megabit per second data rate, again the bursty flow of data will come. So, when this bursty flow of packet sent into the leaky bucket algorithm, in this leaky bucket algorithm, the data rate is 3 megabit per second, right? What we have to do leaky bucket algorithm here, this leaky bucket algorithm convert this data, this bursty flow of packet into a constraint rate. How? If the leaky bucket data rate capacity is 3, 3 megabit per second, so here we send 0 to 10 second for 3 megabit per second. Here you can see the bursty flow of packet will convert into a constant flow. Here the data rate is 10 into 2, 20 plus 3 into is 6. The so total data rate is 26 megabit per second. Here you can see 3. 3 into 3 is 9, right? So it is what? 
three into three is nine. That is twenty nine. And here you can see the data rate is three megabit per second and zero to ten to approximate that is thirty megabit per second. So this is the way uh, so which uh, with the help of this approach leaky bucket. Algorithm convert a busty traffic into a constant or fixed rate data traffic. I hope you understand the concept. Now we will discuss. our next algorithm that is token bucket algorithm token bucket algorithm to control the quality of service in a computer network token bucket algorithm it also allow the bursty traffic at a regulated maximum maximum data rate right so in this method what we have to do in this method at every at every tick every time take one token is added into the bucket and when we process a packet one token is released here to understand the concept of token bucket here let this is the bucket initially this bucket is empty at every time take number of token added here right and uh, when the processor will pick the packet and process is then uh, then uh, remove one one by one token here remove one token here so whenever we want to Uh, or process the data or segment uh, to se uh, to process one segment we release one token from the token bucket to process two segment we release two token from the token bucket so at every time we added some token into the token bucket and process the segment we remove token from this token bucket so this is basically the concept of token bucket to understand this concept uh, we you uh, uh, discuss the flow chart here right so first of all we uh, see uh, see the concept of token bucket here the system that uh, uh, the system send n number of token to the bucket with each clock tick with each cell of data delivered here the system eliminate one token a counter make it simple to implement a token bucket this token has a zero initializations a token add increment the counter by one Each time the number is decreased by one every time a unit of data is transferred, so the host is unable to transfer data when the counter is zero. So if there is no token present in the token bucket, so it is not possible to transfer data here. Right here you can see the uh, implementation or the flow chart of token bucket here. Right. According to uh, uh, this token bucket concept, when number of segment or a busty traffic come into the network, first network will check if there is a space in a queue or not. If there is not a space in a queue, so uh, it will uh, discard the uh, it will discard the token. Otherwise, it will pass to the process into the queue. Now, if the queue is uh, queue is having a space, so the uh, process will add into the front of the Q. Uh, uh, at every time take number of process added into the queue. We also we also added number of token into this token bucket. Like one token added per tick. If uh, when we add one process into the queue, we also added one token in this token bucket. Similarly, added number of queue into uh, process into the queue. We also added number of token at in every token bucket now processor will pick a uh, packet or a segment one by one let us suppose a processor pick one segment from this queue also here token bucket release one token remove and discard it per cell transmitted now the processor will process the this segment and discard this packet when processor discard Uh, this segment or a packet, uh, the token is also discarded. If uh, if a processor want to process a uh, busty flow of data, like here, processor want to process two or three segment uh, together. So here, 
for every uh, segment processor required a number of token right so if i want to send a uh, two packet so we require two token here the processor will process this pack segment and uh, release these two tokens so this is basically the concept of token bucket so i hope you understand the concept of token bucket and token uh, token bucket and leaky bucket algorithm to improve the quality or quality service of or in a computer network. If I want to compare both the token bucket and the leaky bucket algorithm, so here you can see in leaky bucket there is not a concept of uh, token, but in a token bucket algorithm we use the concept of token here. Uh, in uh, in case of leaky bucket there is a continuous flow of traffic, but here uh, there is a continuous flow of a packet, but in case uh, packet cannot be pro packet can only transmit the when there is a token in a token bucket right so if if bucket is full in case of token bucket uh, token bucket algorithm if the bucket is full so uh, so what happen network will discard this token not the data so in token bucket algorithm what happen we just discard the token not the data packet but in case of leaky bucket algorithm if there is not a space in the queue so what we have to do we just discard the data so this is the major difference between the token bucket and the leaky bucket algorithm if i want to send firstly a uh, large burst to be sent so we required large burst to send we required a uh, large uh, maximum number of token in token bucket algorithm but uh, but uh, in leaky bucket algorithm there is not a concept of token it uh, should process the data in a fixed data rate so this is the major difference between token bucket or the leaky bucket algorithm these are the some differences you should design this lecture Thank you for your patience listening.